a 35 year old female patient presented with a stridor that's to say difficulty in inspiration there is a sound during inspiration following total thyroidectomy which of the following is likely expected during transnasal endoscopy here we have to look for a nerve injury that might have resulted in this stridor of the nerve injuries that might complicate thyroidectomy we have the injury of the recurrent laryngeal nerve injury of the external laryngeal nerve injury of the sympathetic trunk these are the most likely common nerve injuries so let's look at the options inability to elevate the soft palate elevation of the soft palate requires the action of the pharyngeal plexus which is contributed to by the vagus nerve so the vagus nerve is less likely to be injured here it's the branches of the vagus that might be injured as i mentioned the external laryngeal and the recurrent laryngeal nerves swelling in the piriform fossa here is the location of the piriform fossa the piriform fossa is located in the laryngopharynx and it is unlikely that this swelling of the piriform fossa will take place after thyroidectomy inability to abduct the vocal cords actually this is the most likely cause these are the vocal folds they adduct and abduct during phonation and during uh, respiration they are abducted the vocal cords and in fact all the intrinsic muscles of the larynx except one muscle the cricothyroid muscle are supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve so if the recurrent laryngeal nerve is injured during thyroidectomy and it is likely to be injured during thyroidectomy because it is closely related to the inferior thyroid artery then this results in paralysis of the vocal fold vocal folds they adduct during phonation and then afterwards they are abducted so leaving a wide space in between them called the rima glottidis so if they are paralyzed then the vocal cords will be in the what we call the cadaveric position it is midway between adduction and between abduction and this will result in narrowing of the rima glottidis and therefore this will result in difficulty during inspiration and a sound during inspiration which is called stridor at the same time because the vocal folds they cannot be adducted then there will be waste of air during phonation and the patient will have hoarseness of voice because the vocal cords they cannot be adducted and at the same time because they cannot be completely abducted then the patient will have narrowing of the respiratory passages and results in stridor this is because of paralysis of the muscles that adduct and abduct the vocal cords and these muscles are supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve and the recurrent laryngeal nerve is likely to be injured during thyroidectomy because of its close relation to the inferior thyroid artery incompetent cricopharyngeus sphincter the cricopharyngeus sphincter is uh, located at the beginning of the esophagus here it's the lower part of the inferior constrictor muscle the cricopharyngeus and this is supplied by the pharyngeal plexus from the vagus and is unlikely to be affected during thyroidectomy inability to adduct the vestibular folds these are the vestibular folds they are folds that are located above the vocal folds and these vestibular folds they do not adduct or abduct during phonation they don't move actually so they are not related to causing stridor